Scientists are perfecting their plans for the 2024 Great North American Solar Eclipse with the Arkansas Department of Emergency Management staging an exercise at Camp Robinson. Channel 7's Ashley Lundingham joins us now here in our studio with more on what they're hoping to accomplish there. Ashley. Well, Chris, with thousands of people expected to be in Arkansas on April 8th, including a few days before and after, cities and counties and agencies that keep them running smoothly are over preparing to handle what may come. Here in just over a month and a half away, cities across Arkansas will look like this, packed with people excited to experience a natural phenomenon. Law enforcement, state agencies, and first responders met Thursday to keep prepping to make it as smooth as possible. The exercise was to discuss scenarios and test possible solutions of response this includes areas of public safety, transportation, and weather. Logan County Emergency Manager Toby Miller says they are right in the sweet spot for the eclipse and was able to connect with agencies at the exercise to beef up their local preparation. That We have alternative landing zones for uh, helicopters and we're going to be pre-positioning pre our ambulance resources. We will have our EOC open and our EMS director will be at the EOC and we'll be working with our um, dispatch to take any overflow. One of the points brought up was cell phone service. To make sure for emergency services that we have alternate communications, especially radio communications. But says they have a plan. We have our radio system. Well, there's also the state has a radio system that we have for backup. We also will um, have the support of our ham operators. To keep this event enjoyable for both our Kansans and visitors coming to watch, she says this is a state collaborative effort. We don't know exactly how this is going to impact our community. So that's why we need to know exactly whatever one's planning in case there's any gaps. And that was one of the main thing that we that was focused on yesterday is was there any gaps that we see that we haven't planned for. Well, the Arkansas Department of Emergency Management will activate its emergency operational center starting April 6th. Arkansas State Police will be working with local law enforcement to ensure public safety throughout those few days. And RDOT will be monitoring traffic conditions during the eclipse through and keeping those up to date through iDrive Arkansas. On your side, I'm Ashley Lenningham. Ashley, can't wait. Thank you. For more information on each state agency's plan of action for the solar eclipse, check out this story on KATV.com.